Hello, welcome to Artistically Speaking. I'm your host, Sarah Blair. This is my brother, Micah Hayes, my co-host. We're gonna start every show with Micah and end every show with Micah. Uh, he's my best friend and, and I'm his biggest fan. Micah is a cartoonist and an artist and he started his uh, career 30 years or so ago, wasn't it? Yeah. As a cartoonist, uh, he even uh, had a couple of cartoons that ran in our local paper for a couple of years. And uh, now I put his art to a, a different use. The biggest thing at, at Omni Gallery, for those of you who don't know me or not familiar, I own Omni Gallery uh, in the shopping center where Walmart is. And I do picture framing. Well, our new biggest thing is we cut out people's names in a mat. And then Micah makes all of the backgrounds and the characters. We make little shadow boxes. And uh, he makes the characters that go in it or sometimes it's photographs. These are the neatest, cutest, most unique things that you can do. This one, for example, this is how we started. I, uh, I had Micah, uh, I had this great idea. And so I said, Micah, I would like for you to draw the alphabet and do a cartoon of each letter of the alphabet with a, an animal that starts with that. We've got a, um, a printer that does art prints and we'll just make some small prints. And when somebody wants to spell out their child's name, I can cut out an opening and we can pull one out. So Micah goes, well, I did, honestly, I didn't want to do the work, and uh, <laughs> so uh, laziness is the mother of invention in my case, and I came up with the idea of cutting out uh, the letters in a mat, and then we would put, in this case, uh, toys behind the, uh, the name, and... Uh, that's how we started. That's we, how we started. That, that was our, our initial idea, was to put toys, and so if you can get a close-up of this, I cut out my grandson's name and put uh, little plastic bugs behind it. Well, as cute as that is, that gets expensive depending yeah, on the toys the that toys. we put in. Uh, one person uh, at Christmas wanted um, Hot Wheels cars, but they wanted specific race cars. And I paid $8 a car and there were three cars in it. You know, that just gets too expensive. So we can still do this, but now we uh, use Micah's talent which I think is really funny. Now, Micah has always made all of the backgrounds for, for me. Uh, this case right here, Whitley, is a young lady that's 14, and Micah turned her into a cartoon and put her behind her own name. She's surfing here. Well, I think that's just the most adorable thing ever. But what's funny about this is that now Micah works much harder than he would have had he done right. what I suggested yeah. originally because we would have made prints and then we would have used it. But now he has to make every background and put characters in. Now, we don't always turn people into cartoons. Sometimes um, we don't have a picture of the person or it's a secret or something. And so uh, he does... Um, outer space and we'll put an astronaut anything that the person is interested whatever they're in, interested uh, I'll in come up with an idea um, and often if they want to put them in the them in the background I, I can do that too but uh, yeah we have instances where he's turned a person into a little girl into a princess and we put her right. uh, behind grandmother it. with her grandmother with her grandchildren yeah. things like this I do things for adults uh, in this case people that wear uh, a badge this is for a state trooper I can cut out the badge number and then put things behind uh, the number that they're interested in. Keep in mind, these are little shadow boxes and these things are three dimensional. So I put things uh, at different depths from the background. Uh, sometimes I'll put a photograph of the trooper in there or the fireman or whoever. So these are our new neat things. Now let me point out some other things that Micah does. These are some badges that these are original paintings that Micah does for anyone that, uh, that wears a badge. A lot of uh, policemen, firemen want to um, collect things. They, they'll have a trooper room or a police room or a fire department room where they have all kinds of, of uh, collectible things, but uh, nothing personal, specific. And uh, so Micah will do your badge, put your number on it and things like that. And what's nice is the state police, they have 
hundreds of uh, things to collect, but uh, smaller. A lot of people here like the Smokies and do go to the Smokies a lot, so they might be interested in and photographs from the smoke right and, and and most people when they find out that i go twice a year they're amazed that i don't go to pigeon forge and i don't go to gatlinburg i go to the park I right Mount National well, park. well i haven't lost anything in pigeon forge or gatlinburg <laughs> <laughs> we've got a uh, is this a sunrise or a sunset Sun, sunrise that's north myrtle beach south, south carolina from uh, a vacation several years ago i don't remember exact exact date but that's uh on the beach right outside our room and this is a canvas that's that's beautiful you know sometimes you look at something like this and you think that the colors just don't look real you know i mean they, it's amazing that in nature you can find you colors can find like that. that right right and if and somebody were to paint this people would argue that it wasn't <laughs> that you, real, that it wasn't real. Yeah, but that's that's the way it but looked that, that is the way it is it's beautiful now let's see what is this that is bad branch from uh 09 i believe uh that's very far from the falls no no actually the falls if if you were standing in that spot the falls are directly up to uh above you that's one of my favorite spots it's uh it's it's secluded not many know about it uh, several years ago, I went on a guided hike with Kyle Napier, the, the overseer of Bad Branch, and he had seen a picture, not this one, but another one I had done at that spot, and he, he commented that he'd seen that I'd found his favorite spot, so it's my favorite spot as well. In well, Bad I Branch. like that. The water's rushing really well, and, and uh, really, you've got little waterfalls there. That's Everywhere. Pretty. Yes. It's, it's beautiful. Very, very pretty. Here is a beautiful lady that's one of your weddings one of my weddings that is my cousin elena also she's from union city i was out there shooting her wedding specifically and uh, uh we were blessed with some incredible light in that church that day and that's that's one of the images from there well any bride would be very pleased to have a portrait like this done i would hope so <laughs> well we are going to take a little break and we're going to set up uh some of uh, of other of your photographs and where we can look at them one at a time and discuss them a little bit and we won't be on camera that might be a that, little be bit better. more comfortable <laughs> for a few minutes uh we'll be right back Hello everyone, I'm WYMT Chief Meteorologist Jim Caldwell here at the Thunder on the Mountain of a Civil War reenactment over here in Jenkins, Kentucky. You are watching the Letcher County Government Channel. Tom, this is a really nice photograph. <laughs> it's a, quite an impressive waterfall. Where's this? This is Blackwater Falls, uh, Blackwater Falls, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Blackwater Falls, the Blackwater Falls State Park in up, Upper West Virginia. Uh, I, had, I had quit the job I have now and was working for a company that allowed me to travel for a couple of years. And uh, in my downtime, I was able, able to wander the countryside and I found this, I found this and shot it. Wow, that's really nice. Early, early one morning. That's beautiful. And this is a, it's on a 16 by 24 canvas. And of course, any of these things can be ordered at any size that, right. that you want. Right, right. Canvas and not canvas and. Right. So there's lots of choices. And you, uh, canvas, stretch canvas, rolled canvas. Uh, I even have, you know, there's glossy prints, matte prints, just whatever your need may be. And size, any and size. size you want. Yeah. Okay, very good. Now this black and white photograph is a, another waterfall. You you like water, I see. Yes, yes, that's my main subject. And where's this? This is uh, Cedar Falls in Hocking Hill State Park in uh, South Central Ohio. Um, my parents live in Newark, Ohio, and my dad and two of my my two youngest brothers are also photographers. Oh wow! And so regardless, whatever we're doing. 
we're, we're, if I go for a visit, we're shooting somewhere. <laughs> and this was from one of those trips this past December, actually. So we, when you took this shot, so did your brother? For uh, a worldwide photography magazine that obviously is catered for the nature photographer and outdoor photographer. Right. And uh, this issue was uh, your favorite places. Uh, and they have a, a section in their magazine and on their website that you can post pictures of, of your favorite places. And, uh, and I had submitted this months before the magazine came out and I got an email from one of their publishers asking me if I would be interested in having it published in the magazine. And I had to think about, no, I don't know, about two seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> and I said, well, sure. And uh, they had me write this little, little uh, article about the, mag about the picture. And Dog Slaughter Falls. That's mm -hmm. the waterfall in the background. Right, and I have no idea about the name. I've never, I was getting ready to ask you, do you have any I, idea? I, I don't know. I'm, I am sure there is a history to the falls, and it's probably Native American, mm -hmm. but I, I do not know. Uh, I've, somebody I've, at the Na Daniel Boone National Forest might know the yeah, answer to that. If somebody goes to, goes to the forest, and uh, you know they could probably ask and find out. Well, that is quite... Uh, an honor to be in a magazine. Now we've got a uh, a copy of the of the photograph too that you have framed, and uh, this is the photograph that was in the magazine, right? Right, right. And all these framed images are hanging on my walls in the house. And uh, uh, I like that the waterfall, even though it's water again and a waterfall, <laughs> it it's almost. Uh, takes a back seat to that tree to the tree and the and the fog and the mist this was uh uh it was a week before christmas in 2007 i believe when i was there again and, that orange uh, circle over in the left hand corner is not on the photograph no, no, that is just glare from from the lights, from the here, lights in the here in the studio that's really amazing Fall is really a good time to take photographs. Yes. You've got so many wonderful colors. And in places like that, just you, you, you have to work hard to take bad pictures there. It's, it's, <laughs> just, it's just unbelievable. Well, obviously you didn't work hard then because no. there are no bad pictures. <laughs> I have been back to that spot and run into other photographers. And they told me, one in particular told me that picture in Outdoor Photographer was how they found the waterfall in Kentucky. Huh. Uh, that was kind of kind of an interesting thing. That is very nice. Now here's Bad Branch Falls, Tom. Uh, really good shot with a lot of water coming off. So that was in March of the I, year? I think that's when it was. Uh, it was early, early in the year and this was, uh, I believe it was 05 and I was just discovering my love of water and my younger brother Seth had been staying with my wife and I through the through the year he used to do that and uh, he, he was a little he had a little bit more knowledge about water in those days than I did and he he turned me on to the settings for those slow water to give it that uh, misty look and uh, the rest they say it was kind of history that's kind of hooked me on the water well that's really great and of course around here Bad Branch Falls is one of the the biggest uh, tour spots, uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous water. Now let's check out the other photograph, uh, the one on the right there. That's also Bad Branch Falls. And you were telling me the name of, of this one. <laughs> it's I, clever. I, well, we would just called it Bad Branch and I'd posted it on a, a website that I post images to and uh, somebody mentioned that it was, it looked like a, a beam of light. So the title became Beam Me Up Scotty after that. <laughs> but that's, that's Bad Branch in the uh, late spring, early summer. And that's more recent, I'd say in the last couple of years. That's really nice. A lot uh, of rocks at the bottom of Bad Branch Falls. I, I, I wish, I always tell people that have never been there that I wish there was something there to give those rocks scale. Because until you be, you've gone there, you can't imagine how big that, these rocks are. You're right. They're not really rocks. They're boulders. They're, they're huge. They are huge. And one of the few waterfalls you've come across that doesn't have a plunge pool. It falls right on the Oh, trails. that's right. Until you mentioned that, I didn't realize yeah. that. That is just... 
it's worth a trip to Bad Branch Falls if you've never made it. It's not, it's not a bad hike. It's no. only about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, depending on how fast you can walk. How fast you can walk. And, uh, and, and, and it's, it's, a, it's a trail that, uh, that part has more than one waterfall, doesn't three. it? Three. Three, just in, I'm sorry, three in the Old Man's Cave area. Uh, and then Cedar Falls is, is uh, off from it. And Ash Cave, the falls at Ash Cave. Uh, there are several in the area. That is really nice. Now we've got, uh, obviously that's a black and white um, photograph, and we've got black and white photograph of, of some flowers. Are those dogwoods? Those are dogwoods, and that was uh, a shot at Fish Pond uh, this past spring, I believe, is when I shot that. Now again, if somebody were interested in that, they could get that in color if they wanted. Yes, yes, yes. It just it seemed to, there's not a lot of color other than the white flowers. Right, right. And it, it just seemed to work in black and white. It does work in black and white. I just want people to know they've oh, got yes. an option oh, if yes. they want oh, yes. Yes. different yes. sizes and, and they can have color, or black and white. And of course, any of these, as we've mentioned, if you're a black and white enthusiast, you can order in black and white in any size you want. Right. And uh, this one is a 16 by 20. Uh, it's printed on, on glossy paper. It's just, just uh, regular, That's really nice. Print. Just real nice uh, addition to any home. Right. Just, just right. to decorate your home. Very, very pretty. Now this is uh, the final nature scene that you brought with you. Yes. That, that makes me think Louisiana. That is Real Foot Lake uh, this, from the, the large canvas from earlier in the show. This was a different morning, even a different year actually. Uh, a sunrise at the airport section of Real Foot Lake. The airport is not operational anymore, but that's uh -huh. what the locals call it. And uh, this was just an amazing morning. It seemed like the sunrise lasted forever. We were out there, my dad and my uncle and myself were out there. We left my grandparents' house. It was dark, everybody was asleep, and, and we got out there and set up, waited for the sun to come up, and it, it rewarded me with some of my, my best images, in my opinion. You know what tickles me, and, and listening to you talk, and you talk about going and shooting and everything, and now just listening to you waiting, for the sun to come up, you sound like a hunter, you know, and well, you are a hunter, aren't and, and, you? You really sorts. are of sorts. You're, you're hunting the, the perfect shot, which is unobtainable, but you try. <laughs> <laughs> you get as close to perfect as possible. And, uh, and, and a lot of times I will, I have slept in my car, slept in my vehicle to be at a particular place at, to catch the morning light. I have done that. And, uh, and, uh, well, you can't get it if you're not there, can you? If you're not you? there, no. No, you really can't. Oh, and that is really, really pretty. We've got a couple of examples here, too, of uh, some of your portrait work. Right. This uh, little girl here on the right is adorable. Is this something you did in your studio? Well, no. This was actually at a, uh, a Relay, Relay for Life fundraiser we did for Ledger County Relay for Life a couple of years ago. This was actually set, I took my studio and set it up in uh, uh, the recreation area there at the Southeast Community College. And this was shot there well. for that fundraiser. And uh, she is a local. Uh, what a her, little cutie. She, she really is. And uh, I've, I've recently discovered a joy for portrait photography. And, uh, and, and I've been shooting portraits, I'd say, for about four years now. Well, I tell you what, anybody that's got a child would love to to get in touch with you to do portraits because I know that that's just uh, precious. You know, kids are only that age once, once and yeah. uh, uh, it's just it's just as cute as it can be. Well, she is a doll. Now we've got a couple more portraits. These are sisters, I assume? Yes, yes, they're sisters. This was uh, also shot at a fundraiser for uh, Cowan Elementary School a couple of years ago. And this was a location that I took my studio and set up backdrops and lights and, uh, and shot, shot these little girls. You know, I am really impressed because when I think of a fundraiser f photograph, I don't think of getting something that quality. I mean, usually you think about you go in some, you know, when when you're on the other side of the camera, you go someplace and there's this, they're trying to raise some money 
and they're going to do photographs. I don't think you usually see this quality of photograph. I, you know, I, all I've done is what I wanted, what I would want. You know, that's, well, that's kind of what I look at. There if you go. If it's something, uh, I'm. I'm I'm Coach Lenny Hope with the Electric County Wolves, and you're watching the Electric County Government Channel. What can you do at the New Rec Center?